everybody, this is Nicole with HelpMomRemote.com and today I'll be sharing with you what's in my Craftsman tote. So, if you're interested, stay tuned. So this is my Craftsman tote and I picked this up like about uh, maybe a little over a year ago. I'm going to link a video I did like over a year ago when I first um, bought the Craftsman tote. I picked it up from Sears and, and I want to say it was like under $20, no more than $20. Very, very reasonable price. So you can get them at Sears and I'm, I'm not sure if you can pick them up anywhere else. But it's pink tote and this is what I use to keep all my planner things in um, at one while also I was using a purse organizer like to keep all my pens and stuff in I discontinued that start using my purse organizer for just that what it is also is the purse organizer so when I'm switching out my purses I don't have to take everything out I'm gonna share with you what all I have in here okay I'm gonna start with the pockets and in the pocket this first pocket here I have some my flare pens here I have some other pens and little markers here here I just have like what I consider like my cute pencils and pens that I keep up in here anything that like coordinate with my planner I keep up in this section and then here I just have some more ink pens there and I'm gonna turn it around this side here I have keep my labeler and right here I keep my crocodile because like if it, if I have any hard um, cardboard paper or anything plastic to punch holes in this is what I use for that and I think I picked this up like from Michaels and I had a coupon half off can't really remember the price I've had this for quite a while my labeler I picked up from Target yeah I think I got that from Target okay on this side here now I just recently saw this on YouTube because one while I was using my basic putting my basic hole punch right here because these are like some velcro straps so I had my hole punch um, right up in here and it was velcro in but I don't use my basic three punch hole punch period you know in this anyway um, so it wasn't really a use to have it here so I saw this on YouTube somebody was using these little straps right here to keep their washi so I thought that was a really good idea and it makes it look cute too so this is where I keep my washi this is the one I was using today to um, do my planner so this isn't put in back correctly I just put it in there a little bit of the easier way okay and then you turn it around to this side and here I have if you see my Target dollar spot haul I have this here file pocket folder the largest one not the largest, like the yes, second to largest one. And then I have this, which I sh share with you when I did my planner attic video. The other day is where I keep my the main stickers that I use currently and use every week to do my planner. I keep those right here. And turn it around again. And that's back to where we left off. Now on the inside, there are quite a few... There's slots all along here and on the other side as well. And there, I just still have this little Christmas pencil that I need to put somewhere, put there right now. Um, I have highlighters in here, a little slot where highlighters. I have uh, some scissors. I have a little gel pen. I have my one punch hole punch. Remember, I was saying I needed to get a punch for my planner so it wouldn't be so hard. I have some pencils right here. And then when you flip it around, again, there are other little, and these little slots on the inside are like little elastic. If you're not, if you're not familiar with it, but if you, more so if you like a planner addict, you probably have one of these already. So, but anyway, so there are little elastic slots here. I have my chalk markers here. I have like four different colors of chalk markers. Then I have more ink pens and then all highlighters. 
right there. So that's what's on the inside of those little slots. And now on the inside of it here, I have the big file folder. And I haven't put anything in this yet. And remember, I got this with my um, Target Dollar Spot haul the other day. I haven't put that anything in there yet. But this little clipboard, I've been using like things that I need to do, any mail that I get that I need to take care of right away. I put it right in here. And this is my folder. I've been using this um, notebook to do my recipes. When I'm creating recipes, I write down all my measurements and ingredients in here and try to keep it in one spot. And this is also a left-hand um, notebook. A client of mine purchased this for me, so it's like what right hand is what considered backwards, and I kind of also consider it backwards because even though I'm left hand, you know, we like live in a right hand world or whatever. So it's a left hand notebook, and you um, open it this way, and you know, so it's opposite of how you would do a regular notebook, and it also, I guess, helps. Well, it really doesn't help because I'm still going in this direction. But anyway, it's, it just opens up the left hand, um, a left hander way. And so funny because when I get a magazine, I always start from the back of the magazine. I don't know why. I don't know if it has anything to do with being left hand, but I do. Okay, and then here is my final facts. And you've seen this in my um, previous video, the planner attic. And this is the pink patent domino a5 so i have that in here as well and i just recently picked these things up somebody posted on instagram a really pretty picture and i had been to target already and picked these up and i did not see this and i saw this on somebody's picture and i asked them where they got it from this was in the target dollar spot and it was three dollars now the original target that i went to to get my other little items they didn't have this so I knew right away just to go to another target and they had it and I think it's so cute because it matches I have some cards like this and then I found the little notebook so I thought that was really cute so I got this and what I have in here I did also they had the little tab on here I cut off the tab and just put a little um, charm on there and then here I have like a mini stapler some more scissors I have um the highlighter, little highlighter. What else I have in here? Oh, stamp, date stamp, date stamp right there. What else? Some lid, pencil lid. That's pretty much it. Nothing else in here. So a little odd things that can't fit in here. I have in there. Okay, and this I picked this up when I got this little pencil case here too I picked up um, these little boxes I think they were only like it were only a couple of them so I just picked up these two and I have like my what I'm doing right here is just like gonna put seasonal washi tape in here so whenever a different seasons come a season come up I'll put that washi tape in here and it'll be separate from my basic washi tape like that and then here I just have clips and you know I gotta use my little chalkboard labels but I just have some little clips now these are like some little barrettes and I wanted to see if I can try to use them as clips in my planner because I thought they were really cute so we'll see if I can if not I'll just take them out and let my daughter have them and then these are little heart um, valentine clips I think y'all saw that in my um Target dollars by haul, but yes, yeah, so I have all the clips in here, and I like, like I say, they fit. And see, my planner can go back there, and then I have that there, and then these little boxes go right there. Now, I also keep my iPad in here, but I'm using that to record off right now. But I keep that in here as well, and then I just have a little notepad. I still like to write a to-do list. So I have my notepad and then I have these little wipes here but I use to like wipe off my phone my you know iPad and things like that I have those right up in here so this is what I use like because like I'll I'll do my planner on 
the table, the dining room table. I do my planner a lot in our bedroom. So this is really good to keep everything in one spot and then I bring it down into my little office area, sit it there. Um, you know, and then it'll be out the way, not in my room, you know, as a distraction or anything. And then when I want to take it wherever I want to go, I, I, I will take it wherever I want to go. Now in the summer months, I would take this, I would load this up and take it when my son had football practice because I would be waiting for him. And um, I would sit in a car and I could do my planner and things like that. So it was really good to carry with me on the go. So if you, um, you know, want to use it to go or just move around the house, you can. It's real cool for that. So, yeah, so this is my Craftsman tote. I saw it on Instagram, thought it was adorable. Or maybe I saw it, like, in one of those planner groups on Facebook. Um, and that's what they were using this for. So that's what I wanted it for as well. But like I said, you can get it from Sears. I think people purchased it online, too. But it was Sears not too far from me, so that's where I picked this up. So that is what's in my craftsman tote my planner goodies that i need to take with me you know to and fro so i could plan um what i need to for the week or for the month you see i incorporated majority of the things that i purchased from the target dollar spot was that like the beginning of the week last week the beginning of last week you have a craftsman tote and you have a video up on what you use it for please share it with me i would love to check it out and i'll come by and watch it. so that is what i have in my craftsman tote so thank you guys for watching this is nicole with helpmomremote.com bye bye